Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampant and welcome back to my Carthage campaign for the Europa Bottom 2 mod for Medieval 2. We're going to continue left off from last time. Where at this point in time, we have now destroyed the Rome and we have the entire entirety of the Italian peninsula under our control. What we're going to be doing now today is, I've already started uh, trying to figure out uh, what we're going to be doing next after this campaign finishes up. Looks like we'll be going to the Zarm Soda War mod once again. Um, I'll be probably, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably have the polls up for that, hopefully. Uh, if not, they'll be a couple days after. But uh, basically, we're going to be trying to continue trying to finish up this campaign, slowly but surely getting there, as we're over the halfway point now, technically, where we have now been able to take um, 23 regions, destroyed Rome. Now we need to, we still need to destroy Epirus and we still need to destroy the faction over in uh, Iberia. And I was thinking that today we will start on invasion of Iberia itself. Um, now to start trying to make my way over there, we'll need to consolidate a little bit around here with Benonia and everything we took around here. But once we do that, we can then start trying to make my way over. Uh, for right now though, I will get somebody over here. So send you over there. We needed to get some stuff built up, but I could at least almost try and just like start recruiting more stuff over here. I know for the most part right now, um, I'm, honestly, I feel like I might just go straight up here just to kill you guys. Because at the moment right now, I, I want to basically take all of Iberia. So I know I'm going to have to take like this stuff. I don't think you guys have expanded much. No, you have a little bit. So you have at least two territories, maybe three. Um, let's see. So... They are this one. I think that's the one they were. Yes. So those guys currently control. Yeah, that looks like two. So there should be just this region right here, and this region right here. Uh, if I, yeah, if I take this territory, that's going to probably make you guys want to declare war on me. But if I also took this rebel land or this rebel land, the same thing would happen. So either way, we're going to be possibly... Where's my diplomat around? Uh, my agent around here. Here he is. Because I want you to explore a little bit more around over here. And these are all rebels, so I won't piss anybody else off for taking this land. So we should be able to have it. So that basically, we'll start this war over here. Then that will probably start the war with you guys. We finish taking the rest of Iberia. Um, and then, oh no, I can take this territory. This territory I can technically take. So I'm going to scout back down around here and kind of see like, oh no, actually I probably should go scout over here since I'd be starting the war with you guys. But basically, we need to take a couple turns, get things into position, get ready for us to take Iberia. And then once we take out Iberia, that's when we basically take the stuff in Northern Africa where we have to then kill my allies. We'll start that off by us taking this city here which is Rebel, that will then make it so my allies want to betray me, and then that will probably be like the end of the campaign is when we start trying to kill you guys off, basically. Which, again, feels weird to me how like quickly this campaign uh, went by, but I've still had a lot of fun with this one. I I've loved us just blitzing the Roman Empire before they even... Like, hey, we basically did it around the time that like they were supposed to have started the Punic Wars. I just find that hilarious. I do feel at some point, like, honestly, I think this is a mod that works really well with the idea of... Or it, it synergizes well if it has a longer campaign. Like, I know for myself, I do this way too often. I try and build Rome. Or reform Rome. I do that a lot. Um, I want to do that at some point in this mod. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun, but I do need to try and have it so I take a bit of a fucking break from that, because I keep fucking doing that. Like, I know that's one thing, like... With me, um, going to be doing probably a Zardom's campaign at some point soon, or like after this, I, I want to make sure we don't just play as the Roman Empire again, as, as that one, uh, or the Byzantines at least, because I, I do that too often. But yeah, no, for right now at least, let's keep trying to get some more spies around here uh, to be able to help with conversion. Just need to try and build these areas up as much as we can. I can at least start trying to, over here... Um, yeah, there's, there's decent enough troops over here. I think we can try and get an army ready. Also, it gives me a chance to... I think I only have the one free upkeep unit. Because it's the... Yes, the colony gives the free upkeep, and it's only one. So we can start trying to gather some troops around here, though. Because there's... Those guys are decent. Let's see, these guys... Yeah, because if I like grab like these guys... You as well... We'll start just gathering some troops over here so that I eventually do want to bring uh, these guys over. 
Uh, but I would say for right now, we can just have it because you are a general's bodyguard that actually has command. You were uh, made as a general, so I can have you start gathering forces together. My spy, uh, wherever you went. There he is. Yeah, I want you to go scout over here, like, what's going on around this city? Because at the moment, I'm not at war with them, but I, I need to claim Iberia. So we'll start gathering troops around here. I would say... You and you, because I'm just trying to go and grab some other couple guys, too. You're not bad. But also, the shit singers are not bad units, honestly. They, they actually do decently. Is there anything else I need to build right now? I don't think so. You know, that's all good. There's just a lot of rebels all over the place. I almost feel like maybe in the meantime, while we're waiting, I should maybe kill some of these rebels off. Because I know, like, some of these areas here, the policies are doing okay. Some of you are doing better than others, but yeah, we just need to keep trying to build up uh, these areas around here so you guys are a little bit happier. I do wonder what the world, the rest of the world looks like right now, though, because it, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like not many other factions are really expanding. Like, if I go to top five, like, Ptolemy is here. They went from about 11 to, like, 15. I have gone from, like, 8 to 23. <laughs> like, I've tripled in size. Whereas all the other really large factions are, uh, like, that are doing well themselves have just, like, barely expanded. But then again, I'm only, like, 45 turns into the campaign, which feels so weird to me that I blitzed this one down so quickly. Might be one of my fastest campaigns, and not because I died, like, in my Dol and Roth campaign, but no, actually because we did really well. Feels just weird for me. Um, let's go farming. Let's get the better market here. You guys got your colony. Let's now start getting the medium trade colony. So start trying to grab that. Got supervised colonies, so then you'll want to get the trade outposts around here. Start trying to get that. I really do need to have an army go around and start trying to, like, kill off some of these rebels. Uh, you should be fine. Um, because I've got some, like, excess guys around here. Or I can at least just grab some, too. Like, I know Capua and all of you guys have been able to start getting some more. These areas are still a little upset, so I can't have you guys take out too many troops from here here. But at least we're getting more. And, like, yeah, you guys are slowly gathering forces together so like gather these four gather you guys and then it's like uh these three so it's like seven more units because over here um let's see if i leave behind like the most beat up units are they happy yeah they are okay so we need like nine guys and i've already got seven right here so if i grab do i have another recruit slot we do not um. Oh, you guys are better versions. Yes. Let's grab you, you. So we've got seven. Yeah, so just these two units here. I think that'll be good. So, like, go over here. You guys go here. And then we'll grab these two units next turn. And then we'll be able to start making my way forward. You guys are declared a truce. Okay. Kind of not what I want. I want you guys to kill each other. Because that's, like, the last thing I might have to do is, like, kill Epirus. And actually, what I could do is... Give me a spy here. Take this extra spy. You start scouting around over here. I actually kind of want to just, like, scout the world in general, honestly, too. Because I'm just curious what the world looks like right now. You don't need spies. You don't need spies. Okay, you can get more spies around here. Because, like, you can go up this way. Because I'm just curious who controls what and if anybody's really been expanding. Because I know you go over here, because I want to like see what's going on around the city. At the moment, they don't have much. They actually don't have a lot of troops in general. So I should be able to easily take that territory. I know I've pretty much, at this point in time, yeah, scout everything around here. Like There's a little bit left around this area. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure I know where all the cities are for my allies. So like, you just keep going around this way. And then we just need to scout the rest of the world. If it's right, I mean, I actually need to start dealing with these rebels. <laughs> <laughs> because if I don't deal with them, they start dealing with me. Okay, so I do need to try start trying to deal with you guys. Uh, the areas are tacky. Don't have a lot of reinforcements right now. That's not the best. At least that's something that can kind of limit me and restrict my faction. But uh, let's see. So first and foremost, let's first check down here. Let's see. There are mercenaries around here. You don't have any command in this army, but I feel like I need to use you anyways to try and get rid of these guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's plenty of mercenaries around here. 
And probably what I'll do is I'm just going to grab all these guys. I'm going to have you pull back. Uh, and then I can just grab them. Let's see, because where's my fleet? My fleet right now... I've got you. Hello. This is the one I was thinking of. So, you go over here. Basically, what we'll do is uh, once we finish off these guys, I will have it so that what we'll do is we'll send them around to get rid of other forces that are going to be an issue. So, construction report. I don't have any money right now because I spent it all getting the mercenaries. So, let's start off with uh, this fight first. I'll actually use my faction leader so that this are Because this side is a little bit closer. But yeah, like this army here. This is an infantry unit, right? No, this is a cab unit. Okay. You command by me. Get on in here. Take out these rebels. Like that is that is one thing I always got to remember. Like the the rebels in this mod are actually aggressive. I, I haven't been having to deal with that all that much, but we do have to now. So we'll have to deal with these guys. Then basically we'll probably just have so the forces I have right now. We'll just again send them up, probably towards Italy first, and then this is a yeah, cab unit. So let's get all of you guys grouped up. You guys are actually fine as you are. Start the battle. Let's get you guys over here. And actually, I'm just gonna have you guys all grouped up together. Let's kind of go on to this side. You kind of try and group up with my infantry. Let's see, like, you guys just try and adjust here. Yeah, because they're making their way towards us right now. Melikav, let's go for this cat here. Oh, actually, they're going for my allies. Yeah, it looks like they're going for my allies. Okay, first we're gonna focus on their cavalry. Infantry, you guys are f fine as you are. You just make sure you have skirmish mode off. You guys should have guard mode on. Yeah, let's have you guys focus on the cavalry first. Let's focus this one down. It's already wavering. And the rebels, so they should just be destroyed if I win the fight. Let's have you kind of focus on these guys. Let's uh, hit these skirmisher cav units here, and then we'll kind of make my way over towards their other cav unit. Yeah, just charge on into them. Should win that fight. There we go. Yep. Slowly kill them all. Doing a bit of damage to my infantry, which I don't appreciate. I'm gonna try and get you guys in the melee here. It's like right there and right there. You try and throw things. You guys, this one's almost dead. Also, you guys should not have skirmish went on. Come on, break them. There we go. Routed. Enemy general's dead. Ain't routing. Let's get over here with my infantry. I'll have you guys all just try and run these guys down. I still want the experience, so try and run those guys down. Fourth, their army's dead. Yeah, infantry over here. Try and help out with this stuff. Yeah, they're routing. Okay, some of you, make your way over here. Start trying to run them all down. Let's see, that's 39%. It's mainly just the skirmisher cab that's left, really. So yeah, cavalry. Let's see, so that's all of you guys. Put this guy down. So we've got all the infantry now. I think we can just end the battle. I think they'll be destroyed anyways. Yeah, so let's just end the battle there. That's one force to dealt with. Now we'll just have to go deal with the next one. Yeah, because now if they were destroyed, perfect. So I don't have enough movement right now. But yeah, I'm going to bring you back. These guys I'll bring up here. I'll basically have them be picked up next turn. So they're all picked up together. So that's one little fight there. Um, I'm not worth you guys randomly. Okay. Blockaded one of my ports, I'm assuming distrustful. You guys did shit to me. Okay. Now let's go over here. Again, command you myself. This body guard is also a cab unit. He's the only cab unit in there? Yeah, he's the only cab unit in this army. So we push on in here. Then we can try and gather all of these guys together, and I'll be able to have it so that what we can do is we'll just keep running down these rebels. Because they will be an issue if I do not get rid of them. Like, we already know they do a lot of damage to my uh, economy through devastation. So there is an incentive to try and get rid of them. So let's start deployment. I have a lot of cavalry. So let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, three units of cavalry. And then uh, all of you are technically infantry. Right? Yeah, all of you are technically infantry. So start the battle. Uh, I'll just have to have it so you guys will make your way up this way. Casually make your way over there, and then we'll wait for reinforcements. Alrighty, we're almost in position, so let's get you guys just a little bit closer. Cavalry, I'm going to have you guys now start trying to go around the backside, because we want to just try and see if we can take out this cab unit before they can really do anything. So yeah, start trying to throw stuff, get right behind them, and then engage! Infantry also just make your way forward here too. 
Because we want to be aggressive here. That's where we have the advantage right now. So you guys charge on there. He's almost dead. And then my infantry is making their way on forward here. Oh, you guys are supposed to be running. I don't know why you guys didn't run up there. That's fine. Uh, Cav. So he's at 18 guys now. So finish him off. Get infantry, get on in here. Go there, there, there. That unit just ran way the fuck away from us. So once we're done with this cab unit, we'll go after them. Although actually, maybe let's get this guy first. Although that unit's like running off the map, it looks like. But we don't have to run them all down, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let's see, break that guy. This unit's still alive here. Let's see. Have you gotten all those units just about? Okay, we'll take two of you. Let's send two of you back this way. And then as soon as we are done with this guy, we can turn these two around. There we go. That's probably good enough. So now make your way over here. Deal with this guy. You guys. Let's see. So they're now dead. Okay. Last unit. Run this guy down. Shatter them all. And then we'll basically be able to try and have it so that, hey, this is another force dead. Um, I don't know if I want to have this general lead them, or if I should just try and trust... Trust. That they'll be okay if I don't have a governor with these uh, mercenaries. Because we could maybe try and get somebody. Otherwise, I could try and see if there's a different general's bodyguard I want to use to lead these armies. Because we need to start destroying the armies of rebels. We do. It's just, do I get one of my good generals to try and do that? Or do I just have a shit stack, essentially? And the mercenaries aren't even shit stacks. These are actually decent uh, units. Like, they are decent units. They're just... Morale's not going to be the greatest if we do not have a general's bodyguard. But if they're ah, small rebel armies, I don't think we have to care. So there we go. So you guys there. Get on the boat. And then I can almost get here. So we'll be able to grab all of you guys. Oh, I did not mean to grab... No, never mind. You're good. Yeah, because it was the general's opposite in the city. So that's okay. About to start declaring war on me. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, they are. I think these guys realized I was just about to declare war on them. So, hey, they're jumping on in here now. Uh, that means I'm actually going to be able to easily destroy, or I should be able to, uh, take out a lot of the troops they have around here. And then just walk straight to the city. Like, honestly, if these guys are just going to th easily throw their troops away at me, I'll gladly take it. I, I, it probably is to do the fact that, like, hey, I'm not at war with anybody right now. Well, no, I'm at war with people. It's just I'm not at war with anybody around me. And then I did kind of weaken the garrison in that one city. God, you're coming again again. Okay. This time, at least, I have reinforcements. I'm going to grab those guys on the boat, and we'll be able to deal with those guys once again. Ladies, most... Oh, this is another spot. Yeah, there's so many rebels. I really need to just have, like, an army that goes around and kills rebels. Like, you guys, I actually think that city I need to sit and wait. Although, if I have my fleet nearby, I can maybe grab some stuff from the city to the north of you guys. Hmm. Let's see. So first and foremost, here. Right there. Drop off. Got some rioting up here. Yeah, that. Oh, you killed the general! Fuck. Um. Well, let's see. It's still at 50%. This area might rebel, actually. Um. Well, you need to get that colony thing there. Try and send one more, maybe? It's still 50%. This does give 5%. These also give 5%, but they take longer to get. Uh, well, we might lose that territory. Yeah, now, so you here. That would be this army. Um, I want to bring you guys up. Yeah, you need to make your way up here. So let's see, this guy... Probably gonna have to grab those mercenaries and just attack you guys immediately. Because I can't let you guys teach that. So go here, grab these two. And I'll bring these guys up as I do want them to be in that army, but for right now, just, just go there. Um, and we're sieged here. Okay, so this one... Those bodyguards, crap. What's the rest of that army? This might be enough like, with the, just this army here. Yeah, no, we can we can win that. We can win that. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we have three battles to do. So we got this battle, this battle, and this battle over here. 
this one, I just want to make sure I drop you guys off so I don't forget about you. So, if you guys will move. Get right there. So, there we go. So, those three fights. And then I also... Oh, this place is also ready to grow. I just don't have the money for that right now. Awesome. Okay. Let's start here first. Let's start with the west first. And then that was the rebellion up here. Which I hate that you killed that guy. I can maybe merge men together. I can get one more unit, but I don't know if... That'll do the trick. Not still at 50%. Yeah, that area might rebel. I might have to just, like, exterminate that area if that's the case. Okay, so let's start the fight here. You have one cav unit. The Jones bodyguard is also cav. So if we can win against all of your cavalry, this army is going to be pretty easy to break. And you actually have command, so you guys will hold out nicely. Okay, so we'll have to focus on the Jones bodyguards first. And then we can just take out the rest of the army. Yeah, because let's see. So I have, for this army, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five units of cap. Okay. So if we get you guys over to here, and then, let's see, you're a skirmisher, you're a skirmisher, you're a skirmisher. I have one more cap unit, too, actually. Skirmisher. Everything else is all infantry. So perfect. So you guys have guard mode on. You need to have scrimmage mode off, guard mode up, and then start the battle in a second. Let's get my cab over here first. So start the battle. So they're all over here. I actually want to see if my cab... Like, if you guys go there, maybe... Like, I'll start having you guys, like, kind of casually walk up. Same with you guys. But let's see if my cab... If I have you guys rush on up here, focus down this cavalry unit, which is one of the generals... I don't know which one it is. They both had the same amount of units in their bodyguards, so I don't know which one's which. So we'll just have to just kill one, and then hopefully that's the main general. Or we can just have it so, like, yeah, this guy's way far away from his army. So yeah, try and rush over there. They're trying to go to the corner, it looks like. Let's see, they got that one skirmisher cab unit there. Try and kill this guy first, he's in the way. Yeah, focus this guy down. Because they only have three cab units. So focus them down, then we'll focus on this guy as well after the fact. Infantry, keep slowly walking over this way. Same with my skirmishers. And then you guys are winning this fight. Come on. Two to two. I feel like I should pull you guys back. Let you guys get a better charge and surround them. Because you're winning the fight, but just not ex insanely. So you guys like, have guard the skirmish mode off, so you're not going to be running away like idiots. But yeah, pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Yeah, they're not giving up. Yeah, just charge them again. But this one now is almost surrounded. Yep, there we go. He's broken. Run off the map. Focus on the cav. Uh, you guys. Reform. Form, form, form. Right there, there. And then these guys. Let's see the cav. He's running. I do want to make sure we get the general's bodyguard, so we can know... Well, actually, see if we can get these skirmishers. They're gonna just break into something, maybe? That'd be great. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, let's pull back. Let's wait until they commit more to my fight. Yeah, because my infantry here. You guys kind of get a little closer. Let's see, 14% of their army's already dead. Millicap back off. We've almost destroyed one of their cab units. Like, this is the other one right here. So you guys try and focus on him. Try and get my infantry in here. Right here, right here, right here. You guys are good as you are. Because we want to get you guys to be in a position where you're going to want to break a bit more. And they're trying to run away. Let's go back over here. Get in melee. Get in melee. Same with you guys. Cavalry now. Some of them are getting close. Yeah, let's charge on here. Charging on this cab unit as they just continue fleeing shit everywhere. Try and focus on the cab if you can. If we get them to start just running, that's fine too. We don't have to kill the general's bodyguard. It'd be just nice if we did because then it'll make it a bit easier to break the entire enemy army. Although a lot of you guys already are breaking one quite nicely. Okay, you guys go here. You try and get them here. These are my javelins who are trying to chase the general. Let's pull back a little bit. 31% are dead so far. Back a little bit. 
My general's still fighting you, so keep, keep, at, keep at it. Good amount of the men are running. I'm going to tell my infantry now just to go on AI commands. Start chasing people down. Because at this point, I think their general's about to die. Or is he running? Oh, he's running too. Beautiful. Yeah, just, just run the entire enemy army down at this point, basically. Alrighty. So there we go. Took out a, a huge chunk of them. The only like 300 guys survived that I wasn't able to get. It's not the Magic 85. But we didn't get the generals anyways, so we're not going to destroy the army. But we will at least push them away. Now we'll be able to try and have it so I can regroup and keep pushing. And I think, honestly, because these guys did this, it's going to be so much easier for me to push on into their final city now. Because I was going to have to take out this army anyways, but now this giant force is out of the way. I'll be able to walk on in and take their territory. I'm just going to enslave all these guys. All right, I'm not giving them a chance to get all those troops back. So there we go. And then... Did they lose their generals? Let me capture Zerus my movement for a bit. But yeah, let's just push you back. This is just a captain of one dude. I could have sworn I didn't get the general's bodyguards there, but that's okay. You now... Four to one. Yeah, no, you don't have this great of a chance here. I think we can talk the auto resolve, though. That's okay. So, that at least just reduces you guys down to nothing. And then I will have it so, now can't actually merge men together. That's okay. But we'll keep making my way up here. It's going to be about two turns, roughly. Then we can get up to their city, and we'll be able to try and get rid of you guys. So that's one of the battles we needed to do. Now we need to do this one, which this one's a little bit more concerning, but you guys suck. <laughs> defense skill's five, so that's actually decent. What's the defense skill on my units again? Uh, I can't check right now. Oh, your loyalty's crap. Wish I could have some mercenaries around here, but I do not at the moment. I will want to make sure I get a couple more units around here. Just make sure you guys are not as incentivized to attack around here, ideally. So let's do that. And then I think... I think we should be able to win this. I've got two generals bodyguards, which are really good cav units. If I get you guys... If I win the cav fight, we win. Because as long as I have cav and they don't have cav, I can outmaneuver their infantry and win that fight. So I just have to help we win the cav fight, which is two of mine. Like you guys have a defense skill of seven. Seven armor. Like, you're a good melee unit. And it's versus javelins. So it's possible they could do some good damage. I think what we might do, though, is, like, move you guys up here. Try to have my skirmishers be able to help out. Because we don't want to overcommit. So, like, we'll... Rush out here. You guys try and skirmish mode off. And let's see. Because these units are just infantry. Oh, technically they're, they're skirmishers. But I have archers, so I can outrange them. So we can try and have it so that you guys make your way forward. Why is that how you guys are formed up? That's not how I was expecting you guys to be formed up. Because I want to move you guys up here. Okay, that's just weird. Yeah, move up here. Move up here. And move up here. And I can try and charge in and just, like, focus one of you guys down at a time. If anything at all, I want to try and see. Okay, so for now, yep, right here, start focusing on them. You also try and... No, you just stay where you are. And then I want to have it so we'll target this one. So you're being shot at. No, this, this one. Target this one. So you guys are being shot at. Target that one with my skirmishers. And then, well, this one's pushed back... Let's keep both. Yeah, you can move forward. You try and fire on them. You guys can win this fight. Yep, there we go. Broke them. Run them off the map. 16 to 6 so far. Yeah, they're trying to do their circle and shoot thing, so let's just not try and let them do that. Let's get you guys to move a little closer. Archers, a little closer as well. Run the guy off the map already, please. I'm just waiting on you. Once they're off the map, then we can easily do this. Because there we go. That one's off the map. Now go for this one. Infantry, yeah, these guys are now in melee. You can try and just throw stuff into that blob. Hey, you keep fighting these guys. Yeah, break that unit, run them off the map. Then it's just these two skirmisher units, and that's it. Okay, finally ran the other guy off the map, and now they're breaking at this point. Beautiful. So, Cav, get back over here. Start trying to run these guys down. And it's just this Cav, now that he, their general's dead, he shouldn't take that long to finish off. 
So just keep trying to focus on him. Just get all my infantry. There we go. Yeah, now we don't need to run them down. Because since you're rebels, they'll all be destroyed anyways. But there we go. There is the second battle we had to do. Now we need to do one more on uh, Sicily. Then that will be all of these rebel armies for now. I do need to get some just better garrisons so that these guys are easier to deal with. Although, grabbing a bunch of mercenaries is not a bad thing. It's just they're expensive to use. So, like, I hope that we don't have to keep doing this. But I will try and say, uh, if we can, I'll probably try and save up some money to, like, get a new unit for you guys next turn. Uh, and I can't retrain the guys that are in this city, which is actually a problem. Okay, now, so now, just this one here. This is worsened. Yeah, that's because I kicked your ass. And then you guys here. Again, I'll have you command my, them myself. And then this is just a ton of infantry. You are also a cab unit. So they only have the yeah, one cab unit, three skirmishers. Not bad. So let's push on in here. Try and get rid of you guys. Then I think this is the last rebel army I saw on this island. So as long as it is, I can now then take these guys out of here. Send them over to Italy. Because again, that's where I want to try and have it. So there's a lot of rebel armies up there too. So we'll kill them off as well. But I'll hope that maybe those ones I don't have to actually fight myself. And maybe we'll just get away with doing the auto resolves. Like, it's possible. Um... I think you were my only skirmisher. Yeah, it's like everybody else is not. Okay, so start the battle. Try and group you guys up here. You can form up. And then my cav. Let's get you guys to go over here. Just go around the side, group up. My allies are right behind them. Although, oh, are you gonna go for my general? Oh, uh, not the moment. Okay, well, I'll have you guys run over here. You guys run over here. So I'll have you join on in immediately, and then all of these guys are gonna join on in and try and help. Uh, let's see. I need to move you guys forward. So let's get you guys running up. Yeah, my melee cav. Yeah, here we come. Yeah, you guys just throwing things as you're running past them. So perfect. And then try and get melee in here as well to help kill off that captain of theirs. Because once he's dead, the rest of this army is really easy to deal with. And then yeah, you guys are yep, getting in melee with us. Uh, I need to have you set up here and then my infantry honestly i'm just gonna tell you guys to be ai commands at this point just just run on in there then my cav that cav is almost dead Let's see they're at about 40 dudes left so once they're dead i'll take him out once he's dead i can then start focusing on their other guys I'll try and casually walk you over here as well let's pull you back i'm a little worried about you taking damage this guy's almost dead oh that unit's running so go chase them down He's now dead. And I see most of their forces are running already. Hell yeah. Oh, did I some you guys? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Then just get everybody else in here. Because yeah, those guys are broken. Let's now make my way over here. We just have to hit these couple guys now. I don't need to run them all down, so let's just break them all. There. This guy next. There we go. And then we can just end the battle. Yeah, we don't need to fight that. There. So, another force destroyed. I would like if you guys actually got a man of the hour from this, so I don't have to keep worrying about uh, using a general's bodyguard in this army. Because for right now, at least, we'll try and have it so that we can try and make my way up to Italy. Do I have enough movement for that right now? I don't know. Because I just dropped you guys off recently. So let's see. So... I can... Almost. So we get here. I'll about definitely be going for... Yeah, because like you... You're not that bad. But I have enough cities around here. I can always just get out of some mercenaries if I need to. So, next turn I'll be able to drop off and deal with this army next. Oh my god, guys, you already want to see... No. No. Not, not, at this point in time, I'm now properly fully trying to conquer all of Iberia. I'm not giving you guys a ceasefire. Especially when you guys are the ones that decided to attack me and then kick this whole hornet's nest. Because, guys, I was leaving you alone. We had a war a while ago and I kicked your ass. And now you get to see what happens when I make my way back on in here. So I've got my one army. They have a dude on that bridge there, but he's not going to be able to stop me. So I'll be able to just keep pushing forward. They just don't have any troops. Like, I don't see anything else besides what they have right now. So I, I think, like, I've absolutely destroyed their military. That's, like, one thing I find interesting with this mod is... Oftentimes, the AI usually feels like they just spam out army after army after army after army. This mod doesn't feel like it does that. It feels like more so like there's actually a, a, a limit to how much each faction you can recruit. 
And I think it might be due to the fact that they're, the, the rebels are so strong that they kind of prevent expansion for quite a while. Yeah, this area is still rebelling. <sighs> unrest is the biggest bit. Civil unrest is another bit of that. Like, I'm taking attrition every time that happens. Like, all I can do is keep trying to get more public order buildings here, which is what I'm going to try and keep doing. So we'll keep trying to build them up. They, bare minimum, usually take at least two turns, so it's going to be a while. But for right now, at least. Let's see. You can get the better school around here. You got, also can get the better uh, the fortification things, or no, the uh, games. You can finally grow your walls, because I know we had to do that as well. So you can do that. And then, uh, that's something else for right there, but I know I didn't have enough money at one turn, so I think you guys, if you can get the better farms, grab that. I will take my army now, though. Yes, yeah, so they're kind of distracted right now. Let's try and push through you, because then I should probably be able to push a little faster if I do that. Pontus is at war. I also have been now finally fully exploring more around here, so I can kind of see, like, it looks like at the moment. Um, Epirus, I can only see three territories of theirs. That's what it looks like to me. I, I can only see three. Yeah, it looks like they have Sparta, Thermon, and then this city, because this is still Rebel. So they might be the last people we actually fight. Um, I don't know who controls this island right now. Let's see if I can get close enough. So that is, okay, so that is coming to uh, you guys. So they are the ones that control it currently. So we'll keep exploring around here, just trying to see what the map looks like slowly but surely. It really does look like the Rebels are just still strong as hell. I'm not used to that. It makes it so it's really easy for the player to expand. It's a lot harder for the AI to expand if the Rebels are extremely powerful, which I think is kind of interesting. I know for right now, at least, though, like, I can now drop you off. I can get over here. And I'm going to try and see, like, the auto-resolve. It's a win, but take a lot more damage. A lot more damage than I'd like. But we, we just need to deal with these Rebels. We just need to keep clearing you guys out, and I'll try and give more troops here. So, like, try and get me two guys there. You can try and get me some stuff. So, next turn, I'll have some reinforcements for you guys. You're still no taxes. So... Do we have the conversion yet at all? No, we don't. Which is kind of a problem. Oh, wait, actually. Law for the creation of a colony. Do I have to destroy this? Is that a Roman colony thing? Maybe? I don't know actually about that. I'll leave it be for right now because I don't want to destroy something if I actually need it. So we'll ignore that. But basically we'll just keep sending you guys up here. Slowly destroy these guys. I just hope this area doesn't rebel. Like if we can keep this area that'd be great. Because this is as far north as I want to go. And remember I will gladly accept you. This area has still been holding on, and it is allowing me to get up there. Like, you guys are holding out a lot longer than I was expecting. It's probably due to the fact that I have such a big army in this area. But slowly but surely, it is dying. Also, we have the colonists ready to dispatch again. Is there now an area where I can now build more? Yeah, we can get another medium trade colony here. But those aren't the colonies I want right now. I'll still get them, because they're still important to grab. Um, and report faction. Let's see. So this area is ready to grow. Ooh. Yeah. Stop that. That's that's way more important right now. So grab that. Construction report. Got the trade outpost over here. I would have you guys get... We will need the strategic fortification at some point. So let's grab that now. You guys are trying now to get the temple here to try and help you guys out. And then... Uh, nothing there again for us, really. But now, let me grab these two. And then these two. Can I grab more out of the city? Yes, I can. Actually, can I grab these two? Yes, I can. So, oh, actually, that's a full army. Never mind. Okay. So now, we can have you keep making your way forward. And I think I should be able to just auto-resolve through these armies now. So we'll just keep trying to kill these forces off with auto-resolve when I can catch up to them. And then back over here. So they moved away. I can now start sieging this area. And... I could just starve you to death. I don't know if I really have an incentive to assault you right now. I could just starve you guys to death, because I'm not at war with any, anybody else right now. Because this gives me more time to try and kind of build up my areas. I do need to make sure that... You're actually a general, so I actually will want to try and maybe have you lead people. But you can go over here to try and watch that. I should have somebody build watchtowers, though. 
Like, let's have you do that a little bit. So give me some watchtowers over around here. I will need to deal with these rebels at some point too if we're going to really control all of this. Okay, now I'll get you a watchtower up around there as well. Uh, I do... Oh yeah. Before it even becomes an issue. Let me just remember to recruit some more troops around here. Because once we... So basically we go in after this guy, go in after this guy. And then I'll probably send you back over here to deal with them. There's another army over here we'll have to deal with. So I will want to try and get some more men in this city when I can. Alrighty. Did we finally stop rebelling over here? No. <laughs> Still going. Uh, at least right now though... It damaged some things, so that means that it actually might go up a little higher now after we repair that stuff. So, keep trying to do that. Yep, still have more riding. Uh, diplomatic information. So you guys are now at war with each other. Interesting. Okay. Construction report. Let's see, so we got that top of that. I will definitely get the strategic fortifications around here. And then, honestly, like, I feel like I'm just going to siege you guys. Like, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with more of the rebels around here anyways. So I think we can take some time to just keep focusing on the rebels here. Starve out that territory for right now. Because it gives me more time. Oh my god, stop running away from me. It gives me more time to consolidate these areas. As like, I am slowly but surely losing troops over there. Because I have to slowly be taking attrition. Um, let's see. I want to try and get some more men around here if possible. Might give me some more there. There. Since I'm down at least one guy, and I want to have a couple more to be able to group up with us. But hey, we've at least started whittling these guys down and getting rid of them. It's still going to take a while to convert these areas to be a bit happier with us, but that's okay. For right now, though, it's what we can do. And then, let's see, what's this army for? Just two skirmishers, and that's about it for right now. This one... Oh, that one's actually a bit better army. I, that one I might actually want to fight, so we don't just let the auto-resolve do way more damage than it should. More rioting. I do appreciate that this mod makes it so it takes for fucking ever for things to rebel. Because, like, this has been rebelling for multiple turns at this point. Um, let's get the strategic fortifications. Again, we're trying. Oh, that takes way too long, though. This will be a little bit faster. Because we're trying to just build anything and everything that gives me more public order. Because at the moment, right now, I if I just get a general, I think you guys will be fine. But I don't have any extra generals down here right now. So that's great. Oh, also, you're siege me there. Fuck you. Okay, well, I want to deal with that one first, but I probably should turn back around. Let's go here. I can almost get to you. And I hope you guys hold off on that for right now. Okay, maybe you guys are sieging there. I've got my army coming on in to help out. Let's see, you can get the strategic fortification here. Then, let's see. That work again, we're trying to get this. I need to get a general in there, though. That's the only one I'm going to really stop it. And that's been repaired. Hmm. Like that should just be repaired, too. Oh, that, okay. That's repaired. Just repair it. Uh, repair that. I'm going to keep start, just trying to starve you guys out for right now. Uh, build a better watchtower around here. And then right here. Also, I'm pretty sure that you guys just declared war on me. Like, yeah, I think you guys just started blocking my port. Or is that somebody else? Oh, no, that's uh, that's the boss prince. Okay. So that's what you guys did. Okay, so I'll have you keep putting watchtowers around there. And then for the most part right now... Well, I've got an extra general here. Actually. Um, this way. So what I'm going to do... Let's go here. Grab you. And then, well, before I forget, remember to recruit some guys around here because I know we need some. And then I'm going to have you... Well, first and foremost, let me just drop off you here for a second. Let me get a watchtower here. And then I'm going to keep sailing over this way. And basically I'm going to try and have you be the one that watches over this territory. Because if I get a if I get a general... I don't have enough movement this turn. But that's fine. Uh, you guys... I merge those men together. Put you into the city. They should stop riding. Damn it, I did not need you guys to come over here yet. I have a chance, because they only have a ramp. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and do what we can, and this is all going to be ba based off of my general's bodyguard, if we survive this or not. If we can last long enough, or if we can get the ram to be destroyed, I can hold out. I have an army right on the way over here that is going to be trying to deal with these guys, but it's just whether or not we can do that. 
He's like, yeah, like you guys get lined up here. Get ready to start firing on them. Just bodyguard run out. And basically, I'm gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna just keep trying to rush on into the ram and hope that I can get you guys to keep just dropping it. Because, like, right now... I don't know how much damage you guys just did there. But, like, we just want to keep stopping them from using the ram. And, like, try and fight the general's bodyguard here, the cab here, if we can. Because either we win this or we lose and we lose this general's bodyguard. So, try and see if you can win this fight against these guys. I'm worried about... Oh, he's fucking... <laughs> oh, you reset the timer. You reset the ram. And I'm just going to use it again, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. My archers are actually even shooting my own general. Awesome. Can you, um... Maybe come back? And help defend the city, you fucker? <laughs> of course not. Well, now, uh, we're fucked. Oh, so much. Uh... <laughs> I didn't... I, that was my one hope. That was my one hope, is stopping the ram. I'm gonna have to just... Like, we did... 17% of their army. I... Yeah, those are my archers. I don't want to break, so we're gonna want to stay in the safe center. And then, like, I'm just gonna have to do as much damage as I can. Like, fight them in the safe center. Just so you have unlimited morale. Because you're a good bodyguard, so you might be able to still be able to do a little good damage. But I don't think we're winning at this point. Is that guy's dick out? Yep, I forgot this mod does that. Yep, that guy's dick is just out. Yeah, there's the timer. Now to control the safe center. Ugh, oh, god damn it. Well. My forces are going to now be able to retake this city. I'm just annoyed that we lost it to rebels. This is what I get for having, like, such small garrisons. So, did some good damage. But we'll have to re-siege Regium. Retake that. Uh, with my army that was taking out rebels anyways. Hopefully it's going to be okay, since I now lost a general for that. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm not going to have the uh, general's bodyguard to be a governor in this area. That's actually probably why the guy broke, because I think he doesn't have any. He didn't have any command at all. Fuckers. I hate you. Like, I might have been able to have enough movement from Tarentum, but I don't know if that would have helped. Like, I'm just going to start sieging to get immediately. Hopefully it doesn't destroy all the settler stuff I just built up for that territory. Because that will just reset the entire thing that I was doing there. I was like, I'll just have you guys start sieging this. I'm going to starve it out. And hopefully it didn't destroy that stuff. Let's see, did they sack it? What'd they do? So yeah, we have more riding here. But, general. Oh my god, still. It's at 60%. It's better, but not by much. Let's see, so forces melt away. I'm just trying to see if they... They just occupied it. Okay, so they shouldn't have damaged the area at all. Good. That's what we want. Yeah, that guy died there, sadly. Um, you can get the better school there. You can get the better temple here. You just now grew that area, so we're going to get the small market, because that's what I need to get the better um, colony stuff. You can come back around here for now as well. And then... You got a better colony here. Um, I'll probably say the industry. Yeah, grab the industry for now, I'd say. That is going to be just one way that this campaign does get slowed down. It's just the fucking rebels. <laughs> like, they're pushing into here now again. They're pushing into Benonia. Um, that was damaged. Good, you didn't kill him this time. Just keep repairing stuff and just keep building stuff up there the best you can. Yeah, now, so we're siege over here. We know about that. Uh, I have uh, nothing really that I can use to send over as reinforcements right now. Well, if I get some of these guys... I can even go up here. I can get, like, okay, I can get some reinforcements up here. So, like, try and get you nearby to help out. Got an earthquake over here. Ah, I killed that general. You guys are at least happy right now. Also, can I finally get rid of all this crap? No, of course not. Oh, it's closed. It's at 70% right now. Ooh, a large trade colony. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Okay, well... Let's see, if I just leave behind, like, these three... Okay. Because I'm just trying to reduce the number of troops I've got around here. Like, I want to send you up here. Uh, probably want to fight that myself. You guys keep sieging that. And then... Construction port, that's the market there. Um, let's get you the better school. And then... Because I don't have enough for... No, I do have enough for this industry. Yeah, grab that then. 
And then, oh good, yes, please kill that first for me so I don't have to. And they are going to attack here, Pannonia. Okay, let's see if we can defend this. We might be able to because of the reinforcements we have right here. So if we can hold, that'd be great. Otherwise, I almost wonder if I need to give up on these two territories because they're so pissed off. Because Rome pushed on in here. But I have not been able to actually convert these areas all that well right now. They don't actually even make me all that much either. So like, if I lose this territory... Also, the general on the other sea is dead again. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm very tempted to just abandon these regions, as uh, for right now, I don't know if they're worth it. And yeah, we need to get to 40 regions, but also, I can get to 40 regions by controlling other stuff. I don't need to control these two territories. I just did because, hey, Rome held them, so that's why we took them. So, like, you guys go here, try and form up here, make a little bit more of a U, and then these two. I'm going to probably try and have you guys basically like run behind them. So if we can flank them, that might actually win us the day here. Because if we can hold this area, I'd rather hold it and try and build it up. Because hopefully you guys will actually break the gate down in time. That basically, you'll all rush on inside. I will be able to then surround you with the Hestati and see what we can do. These guys, uh, that's okay stat-wise. Defense skill of 6 isn't the worst. Armor's nothing. Because like, you guys are here. Come on in. They're steady. They're wavering already. Okay, okay. I'll post that. Yeah, get the Astadi over here as quickly as possible can. And we might be able to do something like this. Because so far, it's very even. Yeah, if I can get the Astadi over here in time, I think we might be able to have a chance. Yeah, some of those skirmishes are running over to me. Uh, hopefully, we win against you guys easily enough. Because, like, these guys, you just get pushed through them. Hopefully it's not going to take you guys that long to break these guys. Because we're holding 9 to 12, so it's pretty close. You guys are holding there. I need to get the Hestati over here. Come on, guys. Keep holding. Keep blasting that horn when you can. I don't want you to send these guys over here. Okay, one of you. Try and back away a little bit and try and surround this guy. So if you do that... There we go. Now we should hopefully break them a little faster. Come on, it's so close. It's doing really well right now. Just need to break this guy. I guess they sent the best unit they could think of to try and distract me. Come on, wavering. Break them. Please, before I lose too many guys. Uh, noble death. There goes my captain. Okay, okay. I can still do this. As long as my men don't break. There we go, those guys broke. Okay, so now... We're running over here. There's still so goddamn many of them. The numbers are really even still. Come on, Astati, get over here. I need you. I desperate. A lot of their men are starting to run now, I see. Come on. We're almost... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not what I needed. That's not what I needed. Stadi, do what you can. Yeah, fight the naked fuckers. See what you can do. Now I've lost half my army there. Oh, God. I need you guys to just get here faster. If you guys would have gotten here faster, we would have been able to hold this. Although, they're breaking. Like, if we can shatter the rest of their army with my Hestadi, we can win this. But, like... I, I think these two territories I'm going to have to abandon. I don't like that, but we might have to. Let's see, that's now 40 to 50. I I might still be able to do this. Let's see, the captain is not this guy. He's uh this one. He's the other cav. One in there. Uh, try and break these guys first if you can. Yeah, they're broken. Capture as many as you can. Just to make it so it's a bit easier for us. Get you to 48. Come on, that should be good. Now get over here. Well, we just need to shatter them. Go, 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 go. Please shut. No, no, not me! God damn it! They have the city center now. Because, of course, one of you had to break. Oh, it's not my one unit. So, if you can win. Holy shit. <laughs> that was fast. We actually survived somehow. 
I guess you guys broke all at the end there. I thought I was about to break there, but oh hey, we held. Some fucking hell. You know, I love how literally now that we've dealt with Rome, our only biggest threat is just rebels. <laughs> love it. Because we'll, we'll, we'll see still around this area. These two territories in the north. If I can hold them, great. If I can't, if I lose them, I'm just going to not care. <laughs> literally, I have no garrison. You guys could just walk in with a rebel army if you wanted to. Are you going to? Because these areas just don't make money at all. So, like, I could easily see myself just abandoning them. It's two regions. We can find two regions somewhere else. And then that is 65. You guys are continuing. Is he? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead again. <laughs> see, this is what I mean. Like, I might just fucking abandon these regions. So, if you grab some more men around here, I'll send you guys up towards uh, here. You guys good? No, but. I'm probably just going to send like, everybody over here. See, that's at 65. You guys should be fine. I'm going to get to recruit troops this turn. Although, if I really need to, I can just do this to make sure you guys have something in there at least. There we go. But no, I do think I will be done for today. I think this is going to be a pretty good place to end for right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? But this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. You guys should be fine. I'm gonna get to recruit troops this turn. Oh.